Good evening. Well, you know, sometimes things just happen in the last minute. You know, like, hey, dude, you better make it to the bathroom. Oh. <coughs> I'm always on time with that hot dog cart. That's right. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I didn't know it, but I seen Grizz had a bachelor stream last night. Um, it's about, um, oh, I don't know, Friday. It's Friday, everybody. I put that up in there. There we go. I can't wait. I can't wait till after Christmas. So I can shave this shit off. Trash day, that's right. Good morning, Ron, Skeeta, Junkyard, Amish, Robert. I think that's all that's here. And that trash day was Tuesday here too. Um, no, I'm shaving my beard. I want to do something for Kyler. Um, I'm going to put my Santa Claus suit on. I'm going to go over to their house in the morning while they're opening up presents. And I'm going to knock on their big picture window and wave at Kyle, uh, Kyler while he's opening up his presents as Santa Claus. He's, he'll be three. So, um, he'll be three in J June. So, you know, that'll get him. Moose is an excellent shaver. Good morning, Christy. <laughs> My coin purse. How am I a dumbass? He is three. Yeah, all right. He'll be four in June. I'm sorry. I don't want him to grow up too fast. He'll be four in June. You're welcome. What did you say you're welcome to me for? I made coffee for you oh, again. Did it break your patties? Yes, it did. Uh, I'm about to break something else. They'll probably leave. Break your glasses with you in them. <laughs> you got jokes this morning there, don't you, biggie boy? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm not afraid of nothing. I face death in the I look at death in the face every morning. <laughs> I'm not mentally stable, you're right. Kathy Cougar. Well, that's nice of you, Moose. Does he rub in lotion there, uh, Robert? Or do you got to whip up your bat, a bat yourself to rub in? I'm not like my brother Kevin there, Moose. He he would enjoy you shaving his coin purse and uh, his piggy bank. I figure it's up in the morning. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> 
<clears throat> I made, uh, that's right, Christmas times are coming. I made, uh, I had uh, eight duck eggs and seven chicken eggs. So I mixed them all together and I fried them up. Uh, turned out fantastic. Gretchen wanted scrambled eggs this morning for breakfast. And then she only ate part of them. And that absolutely triggered Kathy. You know, you wanted them. You've been asking all week. Now you don't want to eat them? Yeah. No, I did not add peas to the eggs. I hear it's pretty good, though. Moose likes to stir you like a hot bowl of chili. It's not eggs. <laughs> well, you know. Which cowboy casserole? Never heard of it. Uh-oh. That ain't no good. Should have put the head on backwards. That way he could have seen he could have seen where he was coming from. But it has a wiener. <laughs> yeah. I got a powder. Hamburger, cheeses, tater tots, cream of mushroom soup, and bacon and corn. Okay. Yeah, with broke back mountain sauce on it. That's what that's what uh, Moose's uh, cow go, cowboy casserole contains. Well, good morning, Mr. Bachelor. Are you still a bachelor or are you uh, married again? No sauce, please. Yeah. Shut up, Grizz. Shut up, Grizz. somebody talk shit and make sense okay make sense because you don't know jack shit you think it's just because oh you're a fucking man in your 50s and shit that you know everything because you work out your life ways um, um where's your job, job old man, man. you yeah, ain't working for fucking years. years 
Here's your goodie. Fuck you, Grizz. You can't stop me. Fuck you, Grizz. Yeah. Yeah, what? No, no barbecuing this weekend. Got me Sandy Claire, my frosty, the snowman. The very happy soul. With a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Well, you deserve it, Robert. Not because of you, because you de you decided to live in Idaho. Mm hmm. That double dong area. That's right. Did you see that video from the? Uh, YouTube or uh, Facebook shorts where uh, they pour steaming hot water on a car's hood and it's from people in England and a guy grabs it like a two foot long dildo with a suction cup on it slaps it on the hood and then the woman says that's it put the dilly on there and pull and the guy pulls the dent right out of the hood that is funnier than shit. <laughs> now that's uh, that is a uh, uh, Grizz two seventy son. I gotta ha I gotta have a talk with Cornbread. He's got too much time on his hand. You mean Papa Grizz? Yep, Papa Grizz. <laughs> Good morning, gorgeous. Thank you. Shut up. You talk to your people, remember? <laughs> Keep it up. I'm going to dust them off, and they're going to be dusted off for good today. To you, I can't stand Come on, lady. Yeah. You want all the people to see you get your ass handed to you? By the way, Moose yeah, said, so hey, Kathy. <laughs> Calm down, little Moose. <laughs> I, I hate you. Grizz. Grizz. Hey, Robert, there's nothing wrong with instant coffee. You know why? Because I got a hot kettle and I can make me instant coffee in a matter of minutes. And I can make it all day long, every day. Instead of waiting for a coffee maker. If I only want to drink two cups a day, I can make two cups a day instead of wasting a whole pot. But we do have a coffee maker going. Because everybody else drinks coffee too. All right. Junkyard. I'm going to take Robert's wrench away from him. You're going to have to time him out. You crossed the line, Robert. <laughs> it was timed out by Matt. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> there you go. <laughs> Robert, be quicker. I'm going to talk to the dog. <laughs> uh, 
That's right. Uh, hey, why don't you be Cali real quick? Wire. I forgot to do that. Of course. Well, she's your cat, not mine. Not it is too. You brought her from over there. She followed. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, she followed. Her. Her. <laughs> she, she doesn't like me no more for some oh, reason. I'm, keep it up, lady. Well, good morning, Big Steve EBT. Yes, and we all are bastards. Poop and then he was gone. Well, where did Robert go? <laughs> yeah. He said something wrong and he had to leave the show. Man, you. So cold is actually heating today. I have. I have a cure egg, actually. Um. Well, them cups are expensive, man. Uh, if you buy the Keurig cups, you can buy the basket that you can refill with, you know, uh, regular coffee. So. Uh -huh. All I care about is feeding myself, Mom. Right, I made all them scrambled eggs just for myself, didn't I? Damn cat. Yeah. Any other time you cared about a cow? I forgot about her. I was busy. I had to do everybody else's job this morning. Oh, get out of here. I had to make coffee while somebody was sitting there wide awake. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I come out this morning and he's well, wide awake on watching TV and I had to make coffee. You're not even going to be capable of getting on. <laughs> not a threat. Yeah. Come better up, better up. so bad. Such a oh, there's plenty of. Such a faker. Yeah, you get sick. Get him, Cabby. <coughs> Just a liar. No, no. no. Did you see him cry right there? <laughs> no, I, I got bad neck pain. I can't take that. Then you better shut your mouth. All right, you better watch it. You got more bad neck pains. Let me go get my baseball bat. <laughs> Start taking care of some shit around here. Show you Good who's morning. boss. Good morning, wiener dog. <laughs> Dale. Morning, Dale. Does that just pop back off again? Well, that ain't no good. I got degenerative bone disease in my neck, and I can hardly turn my neck to the right. <laughs> That's Robert. Right. Well, you know, well Robert really told me Brad was my brother, so I, I <laughs> took his <laughs> brother with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a junkyard time I'm out and Matt did it. <laughs> bad neck pain, bad hands, and still runs that trap. That's right, because I fear, no, I don't fear death. I look death in the face every day. <laughs> I don't, I'm not afraid of nothing because I've been mother, married for 40 years. Mother, listen. That's it. I'm on my way over to help you, dog. Just point at who you want me to wrestle. Moose knuckle. Kathy wants you to wrestle her. <laughs> She's winking. Yeah. Well, 50 bucks to repair. You know, what's it going to be worth, you know, in 10 years from now? It's not. Moose says she's all buttered up yeah. <laughs> for the rest of the match. Yeah. She's got her single wet on there, uh, Moose, her wrestling gear. This coffee is 
<laughs> Can't be slap dog just one time. <laughs> Won't be the first time. She, it's like Folgers coffee or a Lay's potato chip. She just can't stop at one. <laughs> it's not like you don't deserve it. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. Go ahead. Yeah. Good morning, you dizzy. Moose says he's all buttered up, you dizzy says. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Is that coconut butter or real butter? No, my oh no, that's not it. I got, Listen, I, I'm going to be a bachelor too, uh, Grizz. She's leaving here in a little bit to go shopping. Yeah. It's rabbit's nut butter. Is that what it is? You Dizzy says good morning, Kathy. Good morning. They're doing a little Christmas shoplifting. Uh, no, started. no, no. I, I, like Christy said yesterday, she she's hoping to see Constance one day on Life Patrol out of Toledo. <laughs> I'm just glad we ain't gonna learn how to take up our uh, ink tablets off her clothes for Christmas yeah. from your sister. Taking people's name, let's get real. That's right. Um. Now, this morning, we had uh, a sheriff department. I didn't know we had one, but there was a sheriff department helicopter uh, circling around like 15, 20 city blocks around here. And they had a bunch of streets blocked off by cop cars. I don't know what was going on. I'm waiting to find out. Who are you? I am Les Nesman. News reporter for WKRP. It's nosy heifers of YouTube. <laughs> well, they say it's that American chain and cable yeah. down there. Somebody said a drug bust and somebody so said it's a military thing. Huh. They heard an explosion. You're stupid. Yeah. All I know is there was cars <laughs> flying up and down the road. And then the helicopter kept going over back and forth. Huh. Canadian Mountain. It could be the Canadian Mounties were ready to extradite me to Canada to face my charges from Brad and Jen outdoors. Yeah. They'd give it back. The voting expense would be too much. Because I hear they have a warrant for my arrest. Tell them goodbye. Bye, guys. Such a boss, I, I thought they'd never leave. Oh. Yeah, I'm on the dodge too. Yep. Evidently, I must have said something about Brad and, and or Jen or whatever. Uh, I don't ever remember saying anything about Jen, but um, they got a warrant for my arrest for defamation of character. And um, what else is it for? Oh, uh, libel and slander and uh, um, bullying. I got a powder.
But you know how that is. Well, I don't know how that works. Evidently, they have different kind of character clauses up there and can connect, 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 connect in. Yeah. Um, you don't have to have much character to have character up there. Yeah. They have Bounty Hunter Bob looking for you. Free at last. Free at last. I'm free at last. Free at last. Well, since they're all gone, I guess I'll call the Go-Go Girls and have them come over. Yeah. You're going to take me in? Well, if you're going to take me in, Bob, there are certain requirements that you have to have to take me in. Um, I can't travel more than 15 miles a day. Okay. And I have to have steak and eggs every morning for breakfast, steak and lobster for lunch, and then I got to have shrimp, lobster, and steak for dinner every day. Oh, except for Tuesday. That's taco days. Um, so if you're willing to take me in on them conditions, I'm willing to go. Uh-huh. I'll meet you in the Florida Keys. And we'll travel from there up to Canada. No tube steak. T-bone steak or porterhouses or a good New York strip. There probably is a reward. Yeah, smothered none to it. <laughs> I figure at 15 miles a day, if we started off in the Florida Keys, I'm pretty much going to be about 80 years old before we get there. Mm -hmm. Are close to it. But you still get to claim you got me there, big uh, bounty hunter. Uh. Oh, and I forgot. Um, you got to have ice cream at night for a, you know, for a snack before we go to bed every night. <laughs> yeah. Um, every night, different flavor, vanilla, and then mint chocolate chip, and then chocolate, and then strawberry, and then French vanilla, and then butter pecan, you know. Mm -hmm. There goes the neighborhood. How many men at night does she have? If anybody else would like to, uh, you know, travel with us, I'm sure Bounty Hunter Bob wouldn't mind picking up the tab either. There you go, your childish bullshit again. Yeah, I think I got that on a recording someplace. Just really 
it's just odd. Like it's a- that was big. That was big. Steve talking. It just really makes me sad. Like it's seven billion people in the world, and not everyone gets to experience how funny I am and how fat my ass is. Yeah, that's big. Steve talking. experience how funny I am and how fat I am. This Iron Dog 63. I don't know. But I reckon I don't know. There's uh, I'll say a little to you, but uh, yeah. I don't know if there's a lot of shenanigans going on. So, uh, but good morning if it's you. Looky there. Good morning to me. Are you going with your childish bullshit? You like your fat ass? Are you going with your childish bullshit? Are you going with your childish bullshit? You're right. There you go, your childish bullshit. I couldn't believe Steve come out and said something like that. Seven billion people in the world, and they don't think I'm funny, but they want to talk about how fat my ass is. I understand completely, Robert. I have nothing against Howie. I don't. But I didn't do anything to Howie. I have no idea who timed him out, why they timed him out, or what he said. But... If somebody had a problem with him, that's between them and them, not me and him. Huh. Yeah. Are you going to walk a mile in my apostle shoes? If you walked a mile in my shoes, you'd be screaming after the first 30 feet. I'm so sorry, dog. I am so sorry, dog. I am so sorry. I feel your pain. You have a problem? Oh, I understand completely. Son of a bitch. I gotta go give me another cup of coffee. Skeeter. He don't even have a bike seat on the bike. It's just the post. And it's got a it's got something rubber on it. That way he doesn't cut himself. If you know what I mean. I think I have a picture of his bike. Yep, there it is. Um, See, he's got the ladies bike. That way he can step through. Guys thought I was kidding, did you? Huh. 
in that train. Yeah, it, looks, it looks like Moose's bike. <laughs> well, that's one way to keep from falling off it, I guess. I gotta get me a cup of coffee. Instant even. Yeah. Ah, uh, damn. Biden has a bite just like that. It's a tandem. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry that's the way I walked there, Grizz. You know, I got one bad leg and the other one don't work too good. That, yeah, that'd probably make Biden stay in the seat and not fall off. But you know, Kamala Harris would be fighting him over that bike. And she wouldn't sit on it. She'd probably sit on the handlebars and face towards the seat. It is a drag. I got to be careful where I step. Yeah. I want to step on her. Yeah, you already do. That's right. You already walk that way.
You own your own private Idaho. I don't know. I got to start. I got to do something today. I think I might uh, get a couple of snow blowers out and uh, get them running so they're ready. That work on your bandsaw? About 15 years ago, I almost bought. I was at uh, Omnisource, and uh, The only reason why I didn't buy it is I didn't know how the hell I was ever going to get it home, let alone uh, off the truck. Um, they would have loaded it for me. I just didn't know if, I would, if the, my truck could have hauled it and I could have got it home. Um, this thing was, it had, it was like 40 inches long, the bandsaw itself. And it had probably 20-inch wheels on it. And it was a commercial bandsaw for a factory. I thought, well, hell, you know, if you just took the bandsaw head and got rid of everything else, it'd make a nice um, sawmill. Because you've already got, you've got the, the makings of it. Um you just have to put a drive engine on it because it had a three-phase 220-volt motor on it. But uh, I thought it would have been a good idea, but they wanted to sell me the whole thing, and I didn't want to buy the whole thing. And back then, they were getting 50 cents a pound, and this thing was probably eight, 900 pounds at the time. So maybe even more than that. And then I had no idea how the hell I was ever going to get it off my truck if I got it home. Yeah, this was a big, it was a big commercial bandsaw for, I don't know, some, I don't even know where it come from, but it was at a scrapyard. So, um, as far as the bearings and bushings and stuff like that, they seemed to, because I went over and grabbed the wheels and stuff, and uh, they seemed to be tight. There wasn't no play in them. I just think it was outdated, and they went to a different kind of model or something like that. Huh. It was, just, it was a, a huge bandsaw. Um, but, you know, like I said, it had that, you know, the, if you just took the head off of it and then, you know, you could make yourself your own bandsaw. You just had to use a drive engine on it or a drive motor because it was like a 223 phase and, you know, you rig up a, you know, a 20 horse or a 16 horse or something on it. Yeah, it would be like Steve on your couch. Wouldn't be able to get it off. I still look every once in a while um, on Facebook Marketplace. For a bandsaw, so, I mean, I, I've seen some bigger, you know, some industrial ones, you know, with a, like a, a 24 inch cut on them. And sometimes you can actually pick them up cheap. People just want to get them out of their yard, but it, it probably would. <laughs> yeah.
Now, I went and got, I from a, a different scrapyard that was there, I bought uh, a generator out of an RV. The RV had 11,000 miles on it. So you know damn well the generator didn't get used much. But the RV had a bunch of water damage on it, so they just junked it. So it had an Owen engine on it with a generator, uh, like 7,000 watts. Uh, so I bought the whole damn thing, the generator from them. They come over and they loaded it with a, a loader. And it took three of us to get it out of the truck. And then we had to, we slid it, we couldn't, we couldn't lift it. Just slid it down on boards, and then we put it on um, a platform with wheels on it, and that's what I, I left it in my garage like that. And a guy had a roto rototiller. Um, and he drove by, and he seen that thing sitting because the garage door open. He said, hey, I'll trade you this roto rototiller for it. And I said, you will? He said, yeah. Okay, let me see it. So he just lived right around the corner. He started it up and he, you know, wheeled it on over, put it in the garden, run it. So that's pretty good. I said, yeah, I'll, I'll trade you. I said, I'm going to tell you right now, I have no idea what's wrong with this or if there's anything wrong with it. I hadn't even screwed with it. I just got it like two or three days before that. I give $10 for it at the scrapyard. Um, it was Toledo shredding. And then I ended up, I used that Roto Rototiller for probably three or four years. And then I put it out for sale in a yard sale for 150 bucks and sold it. He declined. That's right. Thirty-six of the forty-eight. So, which one did you take? So, how big is yours? I haven't seen it, so I gotta watch some of your videos. Oh, twenty-four inch. Okay. Now, are you going to use it as a bandsaw, or are you going to try and make a, a sawmill out of it? Making a back scratcher? Oh, in a restart. Okay. Uh. 
how long ago did you uh, did you put a video on on that, Jim? No, oh, okay. I thought I was looking for a video. You're right. You can buy blades anywhere. Um well most anywhere. But what you know, Woodmiser can do it. And you can, you know, you know, when you break up uh, if you've got a welder and you break up a bit a blade, you can weld it back together, grind it down. Um, I used to work in a factory and they had, <coughs> um, they had a, a, a spot welder or a pressure welder, whatever you want to call it. And you could put two pieces of metal in it and then you clamped them down and then you hit a button and it would push them together and weld them together. And we used to weld rod together like that. And then when you got done with the rod, after it welded, you went around it with a grinder to make sure she was... Um, you know, didn't have any slag or anything on it, and it was, you know, smooth because it was going to go through a die. They do the same thing with a saw blade. Yep, by the inch. That's what you need to do, Robert. The Big Steve Retirement Plan. I mean, after all, look how good it's working for him. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. 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 Hi, Steve. Hi, Bradley. You guys have a good weekend. Mm. There you go. Now, back when I could have bought this, um, this was, what, 18 years ago, 15, 18 years ago, something like that. I was a lot younger, a lot more healthier, and I should have bought it back then and built it back then, but. I'm getting to the point where I'm too old to do anything, but look good, and then look good all day doing it. Like junkyard, I can do nothing all damn day long, and I can look good doing it. Oh, yeah, too, Robert. The best way to financial freedom is to sponge off other people. I do have a hell of a singing voice still. You're absolutely right there, Robert. <laughs> Honestly, um, about 30 years ago, um, I used to work on small engines, lawnmowers, garden tractors, you know, push mowers, whatever, uh, all that stuff, snow blowers. And I would work out of them out of my little garage. And I would get 10 bucks an hour to work on them, which back then was good money. I'd get $15 an hour if I had to come to your house to work on it. Plus, yeah, I charged a service call, which was $25 back then, plus 15 bucks an hour. 
And I would usually, I would do three or four service calls on Saturday and Sunday. And then I would work in the garage after I got out of work every day. I made good money. Um, probably $1,500, $2,000 a month extra back then. That was good money. And it was all cash money. And I should have kept doing it. But a lot of the stuff I worked on was the older shit, um, which I love working on the older stuff. Because you can work on it. You don't have to have a master, you know, technician's degree to work on this shit. Nowadays, your damn lawnmowers have got computers in them. You don't, even, you know, it's all electronic bullshit. You, 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 know, you got to have a master's certificate just to understand how to work it on. That too, Dizzy. That's right. But I, I enjoy working on the older stuff. I really do. I've got everything. I a lot of stuff I got out there to work on is the older stuff. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start. I gotta clean the garage out so I can get into it and start working on some stuff. Either that or put me up another garage. If I could just get Kathy to quit bringing home stuff all the time. I'm going to have to get another storage unit. But I've been looking for a chop saw, you know, a metal chop saw. I've been looking for a welder. Um, I want, I got a drill press, but I want a bigger drill press. Uh, I'd like to be able to just go out to the garage and, you know, on, there's two sides of the garage, wall one side off completely and just go out there and screw around all day, you know, for the rest of my life and my retirement. Good morning, hazy days. Hazy days and hazy nights. But the only way I'm going to do that is if I get the garage cleaned out. I'm, I'm seriously considering about just putting a bunch of stuff out to the curb for free. Um, the kids keep telling me, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. So, Breezy Bike Shop. How are you doing? Nice to see you. I figured he was talking to you, you dizzy. Now, I bought that air compressor that's uh, 208 volt, but I think you can switch that down to 110. I have to check that out. Uh, I have to go out there and put my, my glasses on and a flashlight and look at it and see if I can actually turn it down to 110. If I can... That's what you need is an old barn. That's right. If I can, uh, if I can switch that down to 110, I got another air compressor, an old Craftsman that is 110, and I thought about stacking the tanks, and then that way it would be the one the one I bought is a 20 and the other one's a 10 so that'd make it a 30 gallon tank or maybe maybe it's a 30 and then a 10 I can't I don't really 
No, I haven't even really looked at the one I just bought. Uh, but I do know it's a 208 volt. After I bought it, I found that out. But uh, I stacked the two tanks and plumb them. And that way it'd give me lots of air so I could actually use air tools and stuff like that. I've been looking for a big stand-up model, and I could have bought one. And Kathy said, well, why didn't you? You know, she was with me at the uh, auction, and it went for 80 bucks. She said, why didn't you buy it? I said, well, you know, for the first thing is, didn't have a we didn't have a vehicle there to haul it home with, so I'd had to go, you know, drive back another hour to get a vehicle or have somebody come. And then you got to be able to get it in and out of the vehicle. So a lot of the reason why I don't buy a lot of stuff is because I gotta figure out how to get it home and then how to get it unloaded. So Yesterday, they had a giant-ass popcorn machine there. This thing was probably uh, three feet wide, two and a half deep, and probably three feet tall. 120 volt. NSF, it was a commercial popcorn machine. I couldn't afford it. But when they carried it out, it took three guys to carry this popcorn machine out. That's right. Forgiven, not taken. Why? Well, good morning there, Kevin. Nice to see you. I'm going to be out of here in a few minutes anyways. But yeah. I wanted I wanted that, but that was way out of my price range. I figured, you know, there wasn't very many people there. Um, they were buying all sorts of shit, but I didn't see anybody there in the you know restaurant business or anything like that. But there's this guy that's around town. He's got like 15 gas stations right now, and it's called Lightning Quick. And he's buying up old gas stations and he's revamping them, putting new tanks in, and everything. He's just he's building gas stations faster than you can. It's almost like the Dollar General with this guy. And uh, he had one of his maintenance guys there. And that maintenance guy bought a shitload of construction tools. And he bought that popcorn maker. And I know damn well that guy sent him there to buy all that stuff. They bought a drywall lift. Uh, they bought all sorts of, uh, you know, construction equipment. Uh, thousands of dollars worth of construction equipment. And then he bought that popcorn maker. The guy come there with a big ass... Um, tandem axle enclosed trailer to take all that stuff home with. So he would he come there to buy. Now another guy, I was trying to bid on something, but I was making a, a sausage for somebody at the same time, and I was yelling, but they didn't hear me bidding. And uh, it was um, an exhaust fan for, you know, over your stove. But this was a, a Viking, uh, stainless steel, had the filters, had the lights on it. And it took four or $500 uh, exhaust vent fan uh, for a regular stove. But uh, it, was, it was used. It was in nice condition, but it was used. And uh, I'm sitting there yelling, but this guy bought, he bought the whole top shelf for 10 bucks. And it come with an attic fan in it, a 36 inch attic fan, brand new, a bunch of other stuff. So I went over and said, hey, uh, you want to sell that? He said, well, I was planning on using it, but uh, um, is it worth a couple hundred dollars to you? I said, hell no, because I know what you give for it. You know he only give ten dollars for the whole damn shelf. I said, no, I, I don't mind you making a profit, buddy, but I don't want you making a killing on me. So that's where that conversation stopped right there. Steve's big boy, there you go. VW nut, how are you doing? Yes, sir.
Yeah, it's only gas money once. That's right. What? Well, it's only gas money, but you got to have a car to put it in. Yeah, he pawned this truck for gas money. I'm glad you're doing good. There you go. A barbecue restaurant, they do good. If you if you know what you're doing, but you got to know what you're doing with barbecue. You can think you have the best barbecue in the world or you're the best barbecuer or whatever in the world. Uh, but people will tell you different in a heartbeat. A lot of people have a lot of different taste. Earwigs with an extra cry. That's right. Um, I was watching a show the other day. Um, it was uh, Irvine and Tafner. Uh, they had a, a duel. You know, Tafner's the guy that does the bar rescue and Irvine does the restaurant rescue or whatever. Um, they, had, they had a competition to see which one could... Um, Uh, revamp a restaurant, make it, you know, a nice restaurant. And they did the best two out of three. Well, the first restaurant they did, they had a dessert there. And I'm thinking about doing that on the cart. It's a grilled strawberry shortcake. And you take your shortcake, you grill it, you throw your strawberries on it, and then you top it with whipped cream or ice cream. I think that would be a killer on the cart. I would sell that for five bucks or something, whatever. I can't, well, I don't, don't even know what the cost is going to be on it yet. But it'd be five or six dollars for that. And I think that would be a killer. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Say what again? Say what again? Right. Say what again? You know what I'm saying? That's right. And don't you forget it, Robert. What? Oh, so you want to start an VW nut, huh? All right, everybody, I've been on for an hour and 10 minutes. Y'all have a great day. Take care. Remember, Moose is going live tonight at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Hold on a minute. If you don't know who Sanakal is, you got to go to his channel. Tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern People Time. All right, there's a link to his channel. Robert's not co-hosting tonight because you know why? He's butthurt. You're retiring? All right, everybody. That's right. Do a kind thing for somebody else. Absolutely right there, uh, Hazy Days. You're just going to lay in bed instead? Are you going to Grandma's house to do it?
Have a blessed day, everybody. Take care. Oh, well, that's good. Tell Granny I said hi. Bye, Steve. Bye, Brad. <coughs> Bye, everybody.